Well, the default theme that comes with Visual Studio Code is good enough, but if you are a power user like me, you'd want to change it. You want to hack it around, have some sort of a custom build workflow around it. You are in luck today because I have just released this new theme called Shades of Purple. Let's go ahead and install it and then I'll explain to you why I really like it. So I'm going to press Command Shift X to go to my extensions, remove everything there, search for Shades of Purple. There you have it. And then let's click install. Well, I happen to be a big fan of purple color. I think so, purple can be genius. And looks like it's already installed. And let's click reload. Well, what should have happened here is that Visual Studio Code should have applied the theme that I just recently installed. But it looks like that we have to actually go to this gear icon, click on color theme, select the shades of purple as our default theme and voila, our theme is there. So I have done a lot of things with this Visual Studio Code theme called Shades of Purple. And for, for example, one thing that I can show you right off the bat is the Markdown syntax. While it is really easy to learn Markdown syntax, you can do it like in a week, but I don't want this syntax to be very prominent to me because I do a lot of my writings in my Visual Studio Code and I want the syntax to be as hidden as it could be. For example, if you see that I'm trying to bold this word, the syntax around it is kind of a hidden syntax. It is more prominent when you're writing code and you have these backticks with the name of a language around it and they don't really look very well in other themes. But what I have done is I have chosen a dull color for these punctuations for markdown and it looks really well. Only the things that really matter stand out. For example, let's go to the old theme we had. I think it was the dark visual studio and take a look at this. Now this looks messy. There's a lot of syntax which shouldn't be meddling around with our code. But as soon as we move away from this theme to shades of purple, you can see that syntax that does not matter to our writing kind of goes away. While it's really minimal, I think most of the developers have looked at it as a welcoming change. And there are a lot of things. The CSS syntax is pretty cool here. Borrowed a lot of syntax here from the famous COBOL themes and the Pale Knight themes. And then I customize how React and JavaScript looks in this theme and also PHP because I am of course a WordPress code developer. So there you have it folks, uh, have at it, go ahead to your extensions area, search for shades of purple and install this theme and then select it from here.